All right. Um, so if we needed to do a problem like this, um, now I'm going to show you guys the graphical representation so it kind of makes sense. Even though once you guys get a little familiar with this, you should be able to quickly look at this and say, hmm, this is exactly you know, what, the, what the limit is and so on and so forth. But first of all, let's go ahead and practice graphing this. Okay? Now remember guys, when you're graphing a piecewise function, um, this is a lot of times what I you know, teach in pre-calculus, is there's going to be two different functions. You have a function y equals 1 and y equals 0. Okay, So we basically just need to graph these two different functions. Each of these represent a different function. So you can graph them separately and then kind of put them together. So how do you graph y equals 1? Well, just remember we talked about this. y equals 1, we did that over there. It's just a nice solid line. However, there is a constraint. It says graph y equals 1, but x cannot equal 2. So therefore, there's going to be a little hole. Okay. Now the next one is 0. So graph y equals 0, well that's going to be like the x-axis, right? But it says only graph it when x is equal to 2. So if x is only equal to 2, that means to represent that, we can, we're just going to have to represent that with a dot. Because it's not like it's literally we took everything away from the line and just only equaled it when x is equal to 2. So technically, we have this graph that looks like this. That's what the graph looks like. So the piecewise graph looks just like that. Okay? Now, hopefully, soon enough, you guys will be able to visualize this graph. All right? That's our goal, is to get you guys so good you can visualize this. So now, if um, I believe my limit was going to ask you, what is the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x? So again, we just need to look at the left and right hand limits, right? From the left, what value are we approaching? From the left, what value are we approaching? Okay. Remember, its limit as x is approaching 2. What we're looking for, we're looking for the height. Okay? The x values goes along here. This is the f of x values. What value of f of x are we approaching as x gets closer and closer to 2? So here, x is negative 1. Here, x is 0. Here, x is 1. Here, x is 1.5, 1.5. As we get closer and closer, what value is it approaching? 1. From the left, what value is it approaching? 1. And guys, if you're getting confused on it, I mean, you can just look at like the table of values, right? I mean, if you, well, actually, you don't need to look at table of values. All the value is 1, right? However, here's a, here's a nice little interesting fact. What is f of 1? What is the value of the function, I'm sorry, what is the value of the function at 2? Well, there's a hole at 1. So it can't be that. What is the value of the function at 2? Yeah, it's 0. When x equals 2, the value of the function is 0. Right? So this is really important because, guys, the value of the function can differ from the limit. Because again, I have to drill this into your head. The limit is what the graph is approaching. It's not the value of the function. The value of the function is 0. But what is the graph approaching? 1, right? And it has to approach from the left and from the right. Okay. So if we're going at different values, or if it's only one-sided, then the general limit doesn't exist. Does that make sense? OK. Um, so what I'd like